Grayson, did you get a new toy? What? Did you get a new toy? Where? This big skid loader. Uh -huh. Yeah? So, we just picked this up the other day, right? Yeah. And I'm a big fan of YouTube. And in looking at and looking for repowering videos, there wasn't much to, to watch there. Uh, so, and as most of the stuff I watch, it's never quite as descriptive as I would have liked. So, I'm going to do, uh, or hoping to do, a little bit more in-depth repowering of this piece of equipment. <laughs> Nice, dude. Look at it. It's <laughs> so cleaning, cleaning up back here, taking bolts out, working on pulling this motor, and I bumped. Oh, right here is the uh, oil drain, and I bumped it, and I think that might be why it's it, so damn greasy back here. Daddy, and I found this where you put the um, gas, and or maybe diesel. This gas. <clears throat> so, last time I recorded, the uh, side panels on the cage were on, motor was in seat uh instrument cluster panel was in um i'm discovering it's a lot harder with greasy hands to pick up the camera and start recording so i'm just going to give you a little update we got the instrument cluster panel out and it's just a couple bolts you got a certain serial number. You'll have these. They're not shocks. They're just uh, push-pull dampeners, I guess, to help smooth out the controls. But there's a couple bolts. Right there. Right here. There's two in these C-channel frame rails. The seat, you can see the slots for the seat bolts. That comes out pretty easy. Would have been easier if I had taken the, the side rails of the, of the roll cage off first. But it uh, takes a little bit of finagling to get around these. But once you tip it forward and kind of get it pulled up a little bit and you get that right hand side lifted up it just flips up and pulls right out uh, back here on the motor side first thoughts from everything I've read online was that this sled would come out a lot easier but you get to looking at it and well a lot of things have to come apart first. Four motor mounting bolts here. A couple wires, fuel pump sat here. It's no problem. So getting these front two bolts out or rearward bolts, whatever you want to call it, wasn't too big a deal, but these were extremely frustrating, especially this one. Um, you know, if you had the sled pulled out, it'd be a lot easier to get right to it from the bottom, but I wanted to get it out of there. That was my goal the other night and, uh, open this up, get a better view of everything. I wish there was a shut off to take the hydraulic oil filter off 
because when I first started cranking that out, it was pouring out of there. And so I went ahead and, and drained the hydraulic reservoirs on each corner post here. Which I'm not really regretting right now because we've decided we're going to get the new motor ordered, installed, just to run through the hydraulics. Make sure everything's working pretty good. Good enough to know that it doesn't need rebuilt or replaced before we go ahead and then pull that motor out. I really want to uh, just strip this thing down, check the condition of the chains, sprockets, uh, make sure that everything that needs to be rebuilt, that can be rebuilt, reasonably priced, we get done. So once we're completely done putting this thing back together, it's going to last for hopefully many years before we have to do any you know major servicing under here. I do have bearings on order for each one of these wheel hubs. I figure that's probably never been done. I'm just going to get that done rather than getting one of them locked up and having to tear all this shit off again. So until I get that motor in, this will be the last video for hopefully only a few weeks. Um, stay tuned.